Hey guys, what's up? It's Ochi Cookie again. And uh, today I'm bringing you a 44 and 6 Moab with the ACR and a Kimbo MP9. And the reason I'm telling you about my sidearm is because we were actually going to do uh, Team Akimbro. And if you don't know what Team Akimbro is, it's uh, where your entire team goes to a team deathmatch and you try to win a team deathmatch only using Akimbos. And uh, we actually had a full party right now, and the only reason we're playing Domination instead of, uh, instead of TDM is because we were actually, um, one person didn't have akimbo, so we were like, okay, we'll just play one or two games and let you get your akimbo, and then we'll go do team deathmatch. And, uh, I was gonna use my akimbos, and I was like, you know what, I'll use them a little bit right now, but, I mean, we're not doing the akimbo right now, so why give it away that we're gonna do it? And, uh, well, I don't know why I would even do that, but anyways, it still worked out pretty good for me, because I get the freaking Moab, and, uh, I was just all my, I, I was just going off on these kids because freaking uh this was my first game playing like I hadn't played in literally five days so this is my first game back and I get a Moab, and then the game right after this I get another Moab. This one I get the final kill with because I get it with like the last couple seconds left, and uh, and the other one I get it before the game's even halfway over with and it's the same lobby. These guys just suck so bad and I die right here. I'm like ah, man I was getting close to the Moab. I was like. 20 away. Oh well. But, um, anyways, <clears throat> the reason I started going for the Moab is because I started noticing my kill streak and everything. I was just trying to have fun. I was just like, oh, I'm gonna go cap some flags and all that. But, uh, then I was like, oh, these guys suck. I'll just go for the Moab. But I didn't tell anyone I was going for it. So, uh, I was just getting, uh, I was just going solo and everything, even though I had a party. But, um, it was pretty fun because, uh, I didn't tell them I was getting the Moab, and then once I got it and I called it in, uh, they were like, oh, you got the Moab, and I was like, yeah, and I was like, and then they were like, don't kill anyone, I want to see him get the final kill with it, and then uh, the next game, I get one, and I call it in with like 90 on uh, 92 for the points, and uh, Peter, he was just like, god dang, Josh, you're freaking beasting it, and I was like, yeah, I know, I don't know how the heck I'm beasting it this early, I haven't played in five days, and um, uh, uh, like, I would, uh, I want to say it's like five days ago, but it doesn't matter how many days ago it was, but, uh, I just recently had an MRI because my shoulder is screwed up, I already told you guys about that, but I screwed it up playing baseball and everything, so I had to go get an MRI, and, um, he had to give me two numbing shots, one to my skin and another to my muscle in my shoulder, and the first one, he was like, okay, this will feel like a bee sting, and, uh, it did, and then, uh, the second one, it was actually, oh my god, the second one hurt pretty freaking bad. It went all the way through, uh, it went all the way into my muscle, and I could feel it moving around in the back of my shoulder. It was pretty freaking bad. It hurt so much. And it was just, oh my god, it just hurt so freaking bad. It was unbelievable how bad it hurt. And I get lucky right there, because these guys suck. And I love drop shot, and it saves me so many times. And, um... I get the results for my MRI tomorrow, and I'm hoping it's not too bad. I I could be out of baseball for like two weeks or the entire season, so I have no clue. The doctor has no clue, and I'll just see what's going on and everything. And uh, anyways, right now I have a camera stand. I made it myself. It's using a water bottle. I told you guys about that in my update video. And um, here's my uh, video that I said I was going to put up because my parents are gone. But um. Anyways, like, I love the camera stand, it's so helpful, but I have to have, like, literally 20 books to stack up and put this thing on top of, because my table is so low compared to how high my TV is, so I have to get, let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 books, 4 binders, and 2 textbooks. It's freaking crazy. It's, like, stacked up about... Five feet, I would say. That's how low my table is compared to my TV. But, um, it's all good. I'll just have to go and put it all back later. So that sucks. But at least I don't have to hold the camera and get tired and watch it wiggle everywhere. And it's better for you guys, too. So you don't have to watch it wiggle. And it actually focuses better because I'm not moving it around and having to focus. It just focuses by itself now since it's still. But, um, anyways. Like, okay. Our airport is the Little Rock Air uh, Airport. That's, that's just what it's called because I live in Arkansas and... It's in Little Rock, which is our state capital. And, um, anyways, so it's called the Little Rock Airport. And, um, <clears throat> I think this is my Moab streak. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I have no clue. But, um, anyways, uh, Bill Clinton, the president, who's a freaking, uh, he's just messed up. But, anyways, he was from Arkansas, so we have, so we have a bunch of stuff that's, like, attributed to him. Like, we have a library called the Clinton Library. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. But, uh, it's more of a museum than it is a library, and it's freaking huge. It's, like, right on the, Ar like, right next to the Arkansas River. And, um, it's actually pretty cool. I haven't been in it yet, but I've heard about it, and I've seen pictures about it. And, uh, it seems like a pretty cool place. I would actually rather, not rather, I would actually, uh, really like to go to it sometime. But, um, now they want to freaking change the name of our airport from the Little Rock Airport to the Bill and Hillary Clinton Airport. I mean, that's just freaking stupid. Why would you name it after a president who sucks? Like, that's just my opinion. But I'm pretty sure a bunch of people are going to agree with me that the Bill and Hillary Clinton Airport just is a sucky name for an airport. I mean, come on. Just because he's from Arkansas doesn't mean he's all that. I mean, he did some pretty bad stuff when he was in office. I mean, people make jokes about it all the time. And I freaking love Marksman so much. It helps me out so freaking much. I went back and played Mono for 2 earlier, and I couldn't do crap because I didn't have Marksman. I didn't know how much I relied on it. But I used to be good in Black Ops and Modern for 2, went back to it, completely sucked it up just because I didn't have Marksman. But, um, anyways, also, my parents are gone right now, I already told you that, but I'm in Spring Break right now. I have, like, eight more days left of Spring Break, and it's freaking March, like, March 18th, something like that, and it's already, like, 85 degrees. We had the coldest winter in the world. We had, like, 27 degrees, which isn't that cold. But we had some cold, uh, some cold winter days, and it's March, and we already have, and we already have uh, 85 degrees, and we've had it for like a week or two. But uh, anyways, and uh, my bro, my my little brother, he's gone right now too. He's at a friend's house. He's gonna be back here soon in like 30 minutes, so I gotta get this commentary done and all that. And uh, my camera just just like had mine of its own. But there we go. Anyways, and uh, my my mom. Oh, sorry about that. I was laying on the table. I'll get off of it. But, um, anyways, my, um, <clears throat> my mom and my little brother are going to the lake for, like, a couple days, and I was going to go with them, but I have baseball practice and baseball games, which completely sucks, so now I can't go to the lake, so I'll just stay home and play video games, but it's all good, because tomorrow I get to play with White Boy 7th Street, and I think that's pretty freaking cool. I was going to get to play with, uh, Woody's Gamertag one day, uh, a couple weeks ago, but he didn't show, because he was having sex. But, um, it's all good, and, uh, I don't know why it's getting blurry. No. Alright, I think that's fixed it. Once I get out of this room, it should be better. But, um, anyways, yeah, so I get to play with Wild Boy because one of my best friends that I've known since, uh, I've known for about a year or two, he, uh, he works for Machinima, and, uh, his dad's, uh, one of his dad's friends knows, um, dang it, I forgot his name. I, I want to say Ken Burton. But, uh, I don't know if that's right. And we're getting triple capped right now. And, uh, it's actually helping me out because now I have more time to go get the Moab. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to play with White Boy. I already said that, like, four times. But, anyways, uh, my friend Chris, there's this girl named Jaden. And, um, she's a cheerleader. And she liked him. And he liked her and everything. And he was like, well, uh, so do you want to go out and all that? Well, he didn't actually ask her out, but... Uh, she said that she didn't want to go out with him, she just wanted to stay friends because of how good their friendship was, and he's known her for like three or four years, I think. And he was like, wow, so you want a boyfriend? Like, alright, she sent him messages, or picture messages, with people kissing and said, oh, look how cute that is. I wish I had a boyfriend. And then I was like, oh my god, are you freaking serious? Girls are so freaking crazy. She wants a boyfriend. She has a guy that she likes, and he likes her right there in front of her face like not literally but freaking all she has to do is just say do you want to go out with me or say yes to him and then she'd have a boyfriend but no no she's just gonna keep wishing that she had a boyfriend but not have one so that's pretty freaking stupid and then I don't even know her well I didn't know her I, uh, I started getting to know her like a week or two ago and now apparently she's like one of my best friends according to her and uh it's pretty freaking crazy, and uh, he um, he uh, he did this little thing on his uh, iPod when they were skyping or whatever, and uh, he's like uh, he like uh, shrunk her face or whatever, and um, 
and uh, he took a picture of it and sent it to her. And she got all mad about it. So, I mean, she like, got super ticked. Like, they're not even friends anymore. He's like, Josh, if you want to go for her, I don't care. You have complete permission because I'm just completely freaking over her right now. And I was like, what happened? And then he told me, and I was like, oh, my freaking God. And I was like, wow. I'm like, oh, well, I don't know if I want to go for her right now because, I mean, with all that. And uh, you see that name down there? I don't know if you can see it. It's a Kimbo Problems. That's Peter. He made another account. He has, like, ten accounts. It's freaking ridiculous. Uh... And one of his accounts is Knife and Lexi, and Lexi is a girl that I like, and he did that just to screw with me. He did it in Black Ops, and I was like, wow, Peter, you would do that. And right here, I'm like, oh, shoot, the game's about to end. I gotta rush. Go get this. And last, and every time I rush to get a Moab, I always die. Like, I'm on a kill streak, and then the game gets close to ending, and then, oh, my God. Ooh, that guy just scared the crap out of me when I was playing. And I finally get the Moab, and I'm like, yeah, I got the Moab, yeah. And they were like, oh, good job. And, uh... Yeah, all is well, and um, I have some more stuff to talk about, but I will have to save that for later, because this commentary is over, and um, I hope you guys liked the video, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the fact that my camera is not wobbling everywhere, <laughs> and uh, just um, spread the name, oh, not spread the name, spread the word about my videos and everything, and um, I hope you guys have a great day, just like I am, even though I'm as bored as crap. And like I said, I go 44 and 6, as you can see right there. Full party. It always helps. See you guys later.